Perhaps you've heard about Rust from colleagues or friends as an interesting new programming language that you should check out. But what kind of programming language is Rust? What makes it different from other programming languages? First, Rust is often described as a systems programming language. But what does this mean? Rust is a language used to build the software that powers the underlying systems that other software runs on top of. This typically means things like operating systems, web browsers, databases, low latency web servers, firmware, small embedded devices, and other such low-level programs. Such programs have tr traditionally been written in languages like C and C++. This is because these programs require a high level of control over machine resources that other languages like JavaScript, Python, and even C Sharp or Go don't typically allow for. Rust has many characteristics similar to C and C++ that allow users of the language this high level of control. But the biggest and most apparent of these is that like C and C++, and unlike almost all other languages, Rust does not require the use of garbage collection. So if C and C++ already give programmers the control they need when writing such low-level programs, what does Rust bring that's new? Unlike C and C++, which do not guarantee that memory is used properly, Rust by default guarantees 100% memory safety. This means hard to debug issues that occur in C and C++, like use after free and dangling pointers are simply not possible in Rust. As a side effect of Rust memory safety guarantees, whole other classes of bugs that you would find in C and C++ and even in other languages like C Sharp and Java are completely eliminated. These include null pointer exceptions, data races, iterator invalidation, and more. At the core of these guarantees is Rust's commitment to zero cost abstractions, meaning that Rust generally checks at compile time before your program ever runs that these guarantees are upheld. Checking at compile time means we don't pay for these guarantees with runtime performance, as is the case when using garbage collection. Rust also provides a rich set of tools for creating these zero-cost abstractions, meaning that Rust is often extremely productive, expressive, and fun to read and write. Rust is a modern programming language, and so it comes equipped with tools you'd expect from a modern language, like integrated build tooling, a package manager, an open source repository of packages, a default testing framework, auto-generated documentation, and more. Being a productive language, Rust often attracts both programmers who have and have not worked with systems programming languages before. In addition to systems programming, Rust is also used as a productive high-level language for other things like web APIs, tools and utilities, gaming, desktop and mobile apps, and more. Rust's promise of productivity and memory safety requires a bit of upfront investment when learning the language in order to become familiar with some of its novel concepts. But once you've learned to think like a Rust station, we're sure that Rust will become an integral part of your programming toolbox. Mm -hmm.